Good morning. Well, I've already been down here this morning with a friend. They're already over in the hide. I left my hide over there. You might be able to see it in the distance at the pond. And uh, I've been on this little walkabout trying to find out where the bee eaters and the cores are. I found the breeding sites for both, so uh, that's handy. Later we can go down there. But now I'm off to the pond to go and do some photography with the person that's there already. Okay, let's we'll see how it goes today. Okay, set up now inside the hide with the person next to me. We have here now today already the sparrow and the green finch up here. A couple of blackbirds flying around the pond and the usual frogs as usual. This little piece of bark from the cork tree that I put on top of the tree here is one of the best places to hold food. It's like a natural table for the holding the food and it works really well. It's something that if any of you are going to build a, a pond, if you can get hold of a bit of old cork bark, it's great to put the seeds inside because it lets the birds come and actually pick it out of the cork bark. Right, this is one of the <laughs> disadvantages in the countryside. As you can see, we have the cows coming over in the background. But, as you can see, there's cattle egret there as well on the ground, running around in with them. There seems to be a whole herd coming through today. Hopefully they won't come too close to the pond. Sometimes they do, but uh, normally the... The herder knows when I'm here, he keeps them away. There's the cattle egret you see in between the cows. They always follow round to pick up the seeds. And the, and the insects that are stirred up from the ground as the cows walk through. Wonderful sight. Lovely to see, but uh, a little bit annoying if they come too close. Ah, the, the herd is keeping them away. Good. He's seen us here. That's nice of him. Now, here we have three or four green finch all having a drink at the pond at the same time. There seem to be so many finches around at the moment. Beautiful to see. It's such a pleasure seeing how the birds appreciate the water that I put down here. Just had a rock dove come in, which I was quite surprised. I managed to get a picture, but no, no video yet. They're a very timid bird. A male and a female linnet here. Oh, gone. Maybe a male and a female linnet there, just having a drink as well, which is nice. For you to see beautiful bird it's a wild rock dove you can see by the beautiful colors around the neck and when it flies off it's got the white patch under the tail beautiful well today we have a lot of frogs around the pond obviously it's breeding season we've got three here and as we come across there's a couple more on the side and more here there's both male and female both the green and the brown as you can see the bright green ones are the males and the and the brown ones are the females. They'll be breeding soon. We'll have a, lots of the baby frogs in the pond in a, about a month's time. Ah, and a Thecla's lark has just come along there. As you can see, just moving around in the grass at the bottom there. Lovely. Moving up on the side there. And coming down for a drink. Beautiful. Thecla's lark in the area. We don't have the common lark here. These are only the Thecla's. You can tell the difference by the speckled chest on the Thecla's lark. And the slightly shorter beak with the Thecla's than the common lark. There you go, it's a perfect example there with the speckled chest. And a young stone chat's come in for a bath as well. This is something I actually meant to mention before for anyone building ponds. 
it's so important to put a few of the stones, large flat slabs, just right in the center of the pond, but about three or four centimeters or two or three centimeters deep of water so the birds feel safe they can come to the center of the ponds and stand on the slabs and have a bath because they often don't like it at the edge but it's one of the most important things to remember when building a pond oh we have a female black cap come in oh she's gone into the bush there we go we have one of the corn bunting that's come in now for the eating off of that it's one of the best things I think I've put down is this little piece of um, cork bark. It holds the seeds there and the birds love to come and pick it out of the cork bark. And as you can see we have a corn bunting up there chomping away on the seeds quite happily. Hopefully he'll give his standard call in a second as well. We have the bee eaters calling away in the background as well. Hopefully they'll come soon to the pond. Oh, there's the curl buntings coming. Look at that. Beautiful. Come down for a bath. Almost missed him. Lovely bird, the curl bunting. You can see the beautiful stripes over the eyes up and above and below. Some, they can quite easily be mistaken for the linnet, the females like this if you don't know them, but you can see the, permanent, the, the prominent stripes below and above the eye. Lovely bird, the, the sail bunting. It's nice to see it come down for a bath like this. Gorgeous. Huh, look at that, beautiful. What a treat. Almost missed her. We have one of the bee eaters sitting here over the back, quite a long way away. But you can just about make him out on the video here. And he's just sitting on the tree. Hopefully one will come to the pond soon, but as you can see, there he is. Lovely little serums come in for a drink as well. Male. Beautiful yellow colour on there. Look at that. Stunning. Right, well, that's it for today. The, um, the wind's blowing up a little bit now. We've been here since 7 o'clock or 7.30. It's now half past 12, so normally half past 12, the birds sort of go to ground. It gets a bit quieter as the sun's higher in the day. And with the wind blowing up, it's not going to be much good from now on. But uh, anyway, as you've seen, it's been a lovely morning, lots of frogs. It's quite a, quite a nice surprise with the cows coming through. They're always nice. But uh, as you can see, the pond is looking beautiful there. I just should go out through the high. There you go. Looking wonderful after the rain last week. So, anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up uh, so you'll catch all the updates of what's coming through. Have a wonderful day.